What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be about a Funko haul. Friday we went to Target Con and grabbed some pops there. Today, Saturday, we went out to the mall, grabbed some pops that just came out recently, and that's what today's video is going to be about, as well as we picked up some of the night lights from, I think it was Box Lunch or Hot Topic Online. They shipped in and we got them Friday, but that's what today's video is about. Let's get into the intro and I'll see you at it. So let's get started with the uh, Funko Target ah, Target Funko Con. I get my tongue tied there. Um, we did end up getting one of the Darth Vader's that glows in the dark, where he's getting shot by the Emperor. I love the pop itself. It is really awesome and detailed, and seeing it glowing is pretty awesome. I might actually take a picture of that and put it in with it while I'm explaining this. It is an awesome pop. I have seen multiple pictures of the pop itself being uh, glowing, which is dope looking. Always love the glow in the dark uh, pops when they come out with them. Let's put him there. The other one that we got at Target Con was the 10 inch Toothless. I had to get him. I have all the, I think the, all the other ones now that we have the Night Lights, uh, the Night Fury, Light Fury, and the Glitter Night, Light Fury. I'm not exactly sure where I put them, but they're in here somewhere. But here's the 10 inch Toothless from Target. Uh, definitely an awesome pop. I like the fact that they didn't put the big Target exclusive sticker. I love the smaller one. The box looks in great condition because a lot of the times when you're buying these 10 inch pops they get damaged in shipping and they look horrible and sometimes when you go to Target you get some bad pops. Not all the time, not speaking bad about Target. But yeah this pop is awesome. It looks exactly like the 10 or the 3 inch pop but there's a lot more detail on this one because they made it a lot bigger. But definitely loving the pop. I'm pretty sure everybody's already got a good look at it from all the all the speculations and talk out there. Stick him there. Um, here is another one that we actually picked up the other day at GameStop. Now we're moving into a different store. I kind of wanted to open this one up and show you guys and go into detail. This box was actually damaged. It had a big dent there. This lid's barely hanging in there. And I wanted to take the time to actually take this pop out and take a good close look at it. Put this down there. All right, so let's move into this one. Not even really sure how to. It is in there. Don't mind me. Just messing up the box. Box is already messed up. <laughs> let's move that there. This pop looks really awesome. I almost thought the wheels were moving for a second. I thought that would be kind of cool. But here's the pop itself. It looks awesome. It is well made. I like even got the screws on the bottom for like an RC car. I almost, yeah, I'm glad he wasn't like just sitting there and he fell off. But this is amazing. The texture, detail, and paint jobs on this one. The rope, the tires are actually rubber. I thought they were going to be like a vinyl plastic. These are actually rubber filling. Love the rims. This was a great childhood movie right here. I'm glad they actually came out with this actual pop. It is well made and definitely going to have this up one either here in my pop room or at my TV setup for my game setup, but that is a dope pop. I'm actually gonna leave that there throughout the video. Be my little sidekick. Move that down here. All right, so we also went to Think Geek to pick up a few pops. We did pre-order some of the uh, Toy Story pops, but we didn't get there in time. We actually missed our pre-orders. Instead, we actually were able to pick up with the already pre-orders, I picked up the 40th anniversary a, a Xenomorph and Ellen Ripley. And and it's the Ripley in spacesuit. I love the sticker. There's a piece of something on this box. Let's move that off. But yeah, the Xenomorph. This is the 40th anniversary. I'm, I love the alien pops. If you can see here, these are all alien. And then we go into the Predator. More Predator here. I'm glad they're coming out with more pops. I do have an Alien Queen and Ellen Ripley, the normal pop over here to the side. I can't display it at the moment, but these are dope. I love these pops. I'm actually, I don't want to take them out because I have two more sets to actually put on my collection. Oh, it even comes with a little stand. That's kind of awesome. But yeah, this pop is amazing. I love the clear head, the, the, the textures, the design is amazing. The tail even moves, which that's kind of cool. 
wasn't stuck to the leg or anything, but that is an amazing pop here. Definitely kind of cool. The, I love the paint job. The teeth, there's no like defect, like bad paint job. That is an amazing paint job on the teeth. Normally you'll see them kind of like glob a little bit too, too far over, a little bit touches the edge of the mouth, but that is an amazing pop right here. I'm gonna put him back in there. If I can actually, there we go. He fits in there pretty good. And then we have Ellen Ripley in her spacesuit. They always kind of make these boxes really hard to open. I'm afraid to rip the cardboard because this cardboard's not, or whatever type of board it is, is easy to rip. I have accidentally ripped one trying to open it, but it didn't matter because it was an out of box pop. Here is Ellen Ripley. This is her in her spacesuit. Uh, the spacesuit is really uh, textured. I love how they made it look. Like it's used versus it being a brand new spacesuit, like she's getting down and dirty. But this is the Ellen Pop with her in the spacesuit. I love it. I'm glad they actually brought out some more of the Alien Pops and they keep going as well as the Predator. Uh, a lot of the other Predator, the original ones, are vaulted. But here's Ellen Ripley and Xenomorph from Alien the Movie. And that's the Alien Pops. And we also got, I had to get this one, I do have the Target exclusive Britney and t-shirt pop. This is her with her snake, I love it. It's Britney, bitch, oh yeah. I had to get this one, that's for sure. I uh, definitely love the pop itself. It's an amazing, I love that they put the boa constrictor in there. The, the shorts, the little flag, or the, I guess that's part of the shorts where they're hanging off, but this is an amazing pop. We got these three today for basically free, and they gave us $1.88 back because we did pre-order all of the Toy Story pops. We didn't, didn't in, actually end up getting them there, so all the pre-orders basically gave me these for free. It was buy two, get one free anyway, so I got these two pops free after taxes. It was awesome. Definitely worth it because I'm going to take these out of the box and put them just displaying by my game setup. All right, so let's keep moving on. Um, today's find and, and hot topic is I got the Iron Spider and Doctor Strange. I actually like the fact that there is a Marvel Studios fan vote winner. This is, I think, the last two of the series. I'm not sure if they're going to bring out any more exclusives. But definitely loving the, I love the Chrome Pops. I have a whole, I had the whole set now, I think, unless they came out with one here recently that I didn't know about, but these two were the recent ones. And I got the Spider-Man. I'm definitely loving it. I love the gold pop. It definitely shines when you have like a little uh, light shining off of it. They light up. And that's what I love about these pops. That's what we picked up uh, today at Hot Topic. We did end up getting another, um, Woody with RC. This is my girlfriend's pop. She definitely had to have it. Um, it's one of the ones we actually didn't get to get while we were at Think Geek. So we just went over to Hot Topic, picked this one up. Um, but that's this one's going to be hers. And it's an awesome pop. I'm going to set that aside. All right. I think that was pretty much it for the Funko Pop. Uh, we got all the GameStop Think Geek. I definitely showed my shirt. The shirt is a Funko tee as well. It is an amazing shirt. I've already probably said that a bunch of times, but I'm not exactly sure. So let's move these off to the side and let's get into the night lights. All right, guys, these I have been waiting on. We did get two sets, one for my collection, one for her collection. Let's pop into this box. I just get All right. Hopefully these are in uh, sorter boxes because this has been thrown around. Look at that job. They, they did a great job on putting these pops in this box for shipping. Let's see if they put them in sorter boxes. Oh my gosh, they did actually put them in sorter boxes. Let's pull out this paper here. And look at those beautiful sorter boxes. You know when you get your pops in sorter boxes, they're gonna come in great condition because a lot of the times when they ship them not in these boxes, they get dense, they get banged around. All right, guys, my phone decided to shut off on me in that last part of that video. I was going to try to do it all in one take, but it didn't work out for me because my phone shuts off at 10 minutes while recording. Here I have the night lights. Um, I'm going to unbox those for you guys. And I wanted to bring this out right here if you haven't seen my shirt yet. 
which you should have. This is a Magua off the Gremlins. Definitely loving their t-shirts. Picked this up at Target. It was a Target exclusive. Made it look like a little double VHS pack. Freaking awesome. But it said limited edition, but I had to get into it. But yeah, if you see these at Target, pick them up because they are amazing. They fit perfect. Huh, so let's move into the night lights. Here is the white and green eyed night light. And I love the pops. They have amazing, they have like three different poses on them. I'm loving them. And the back of the box, some of the artwork on these boxes are just awesome. Um, here is 727, How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. I will be making sure that I put in my thumbnail that there will. these are kind of spoilers. So just to keep an eye at that, which hopefully you'll do see and I don't make people mad because I spoiled the part of the movie. But here is the blue-eyed nightlight, and these are awesome because, you know, this is Toothless and the Light Furies babies, which they are bringing more Night Furies, Light Furies, I guess you would call these nightlights, but that doesn't sound as scary. But here is the blue-eyed, and let's go into the green-eyed one here, and here's the green-eyed little nightlight. I'm definitely excited to put these up on a shelf with the 10-inch and the glitter pop that I got from Funko Pop-Up Shop. That over here. All right, guys. So this is the three night lights that I got in the mail from Box Lunch. Uh, I can't wait to do another video where I'm doing a pop roulette where I got some Box Lunch money, which I can use towards that. Here are the night lights. Here is Doctor Strange, um, and here is Spider Man of the Chrome series. Here is the glow in the dark only at Target. Um, here is a pop that I did not show in that last part of the video, and here's a queen. It is John Deacon. I am excited to actually start collecting all the queen pops. Definitely love the music. Uh, big fan of the movie. Yeah, that was one I didn't mention in the last part of that uh, video, but here is that. Let's move up these pops here. Here is the Xenomorph. Ellen Ripley in her spacesuit, Britney Spears, as well as the 10 inch um, Toothless Pop. Definitely excited to have all these in my collection, as well as getting two of these, one out of box, so I can kind of put it on my TV setup out there, my gaming setup. Loving these pops. Um, my next part of the video, I wanted to go over what I'm going to have coming up in the future video, uh, videos, not vehicles. I wanted to bring in some extra stuff like mystery boxes. I've been watching a lot of people do mystery boxes. That's kind of fun. Just the mystery of them, which is awesome. As well as doing an Amazon liquidation consumer electronics pallets. I bought, purchased two of those and I'm going to be doing an unboxing of those and the Chalice Collectibles mystery boxes. All right, guys. So that's the end of this video. If you did like, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell down there so you get notifications when my videos are posted. If you did like the video, please give me some comments and ideas of what I can do next in my other videos because I have, there's just content is kind of hard to come by sometimes. But all right, guys, y'all have a great weekend. See you later.